just last week, Dan Beggar put out a video bragging about how he was going to be drinking the tears of all of you <laughs> ultralighters because of how much weight he and his cameraman were going to be carrying on an upcoming trip. This trip that we're on right now, which means we're going to have to knock him down a notch. So we're in the backcountry of Big Bend National Park. This is beautiful country, but there's no flowing water anywhere, which means we're going to be carrying all the water that we are going to need for the next three days. I had 20 pounds of water. I dropped two liters. That should bring me down to about 16 pounds of just water. My entire pack weight today is right at about 42 pounds. That is the most weight that I've carried in a very long time, and I'm blaming it all on Dan Becker for yeah, inviting me on this up. trip. Let's go. So I come back a half a mile to get you. I'll let you know. I'll let you know how it turns out. 42 pounds. Here we go. And I've decided that if Dan wants to drink the tears of ultralight backpackers, well then he's going to have to carry them in his pack. Right Okay, so like I said, we're on this trip. Dan invited me out here. Technically it's in my backyard, but he asked me to come. There is zero water on this trip. I've got, look at this, one, two, three, four liters of water right here. I've got even more in my pack. I carried seven liters of water. That's 16 pounds of just water in my pack. And I'm blaming it all on Dan. So this is my goal the entire trip, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to trick Dan into carrying some of my water for me. Anything I can do, if I can get him to carry just one liter of my water for tomorrow or the next day, I'm going to feel like I succeeded. So that's the plan. Come along with me. Let's see if we can trick Dan into carrying some of my water. I, uh, I left my camera back at camp because I don't want him to get suspicious, but I, as you saw, I got one liter into his bag. So that means tomorrow I'm only carrying five liters of water and I'm feeling pretty good about that. Unless he finds it in the morning and is like, Who's, uh, whose bottle of water is this? I don't know. We'll find out. So we'll see what happens. Good morning. What's up? Okay, so uh, have you ever had this happen to you before? My tent pole snapped in the middle of the night. Your tent pole snapped? My tent pole snapped in the middle of the night. Which one? Come here, come look at this. I'm punched straight through <laughs> the rain fly. Oh my gosh. I, uh, I had to get up in the middle of the night and I had to use the tent pole repair sleeve, which I've I've never had to use. Wow. Ever. I feel like I feel like something that like that's only gonna happen to you. <laughs> Why is that like it? It's never I, happened to me. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's it snapped. It? I'm gonna Oh and I had to I had to cut the uh, the elastic cord that goes inside the pole because I couldn't get the pole sleeve to go past the bend in the in the pole oh, design. Gosh. Which pole snapped? Here I'll show you. So here we are. That's why you always carry a tent pole repair sleeve. You got five liters left? Yeah. So how much, how much did you drink yesterday? Two total between yesterday and today. Okay. I don't know how many I've got left. Water I drink, two liters, so four and a half. Yeah, about that. Six pounds, exactly, huh? I don't know about that, right? Six pounds lighter. Six pounds. That's pretty impressive. Six pounds is a, is a lot of weight to, to drop. I and mean, then I just took a eight pound dump, so. <laughs> well, there you go.
Okay. Dan's back there. He's filming a video. He's still got my leader in his backpack. But he keeps talking about how much water he's got. And I'm, I'm kind of getting concerned that he might drink my liter of water when he finds it. And so I'm thinking what I want to do is I want to try to run out of water and start asking him for water. And then he'll never even know. He'll just think he's being a nice guy and giving me some water when I ran out when really this entire time he's been carrying my water. So I don't know. We'll see. heavier. I think you're heavier than I am. Really? Yeah? You want to judge? Nope. Or you just take my word for it? Nope. I don't trust you. Okay. <clears throat> Pretty heavy, I admit. Oh yeah, definitely heavier. Definitely heavier. Yeah. <laughs> yes. What do I got in there? I don't know. <laughs> you, you, you should be the one that knows what you got in there. Put that much heavy stuff in there. Okay, made it to camp. Got this terrible campsite that Dan picked out. It's all you, man. It's all for you. It was actually, uh, I think it was pretty much assigned to us, basically. But look at this, uh, look at this place where I've got to set up my tent. I've got a tent that's going to be falling apart, a sleeping pad that's leaking on a pile of rocks. Carrying a bottle of somebody's water. Today? Is this in your pack or what? It's in the bottom of my pack. Emmett, lucky day. Because you get to watch me drink it. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> this was in the bottom of my pack and I had no idea. So whoever did it, ha ha. Very funny. Not funny. But I am so generous, I'm giving it to Emmett because he's almost out of water. So. You're welcome. Thank you. It's probably him. Don't trust anything he tells you. So the uh, bottle of water that you found in your pack earlier today. <clears throat> We're going there? We're going there. Okay. All right. So the bottle of water. Yeah. Carried that all day long. Yeah. What if I told you that that bottle was filled with the tears of ultralight backpackers. I would not doubt that one bit. <laughs> I would not doubt that one bit. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's probably true. Yeah. <clears throat> so I, uh, I snuck that bottle in your pack last night. I'm not surprised. Because I thought if, if you're gonna bring me out here and make me carry my water for three days, hmm. you're gonna I, have to help me out a little bit. Did you really put it in there? I did, I snuck it in there last night. And I've been asking you about it all day long. I am not surprised because I, listen, seriously, I've seen him do these sneaky <laughs> things off to the side. We were, we were holding the packs. You were like, what do I got in there that's so heavy? And I was like, he knows. 
No. Like he knows, and and he's he's been just playing along this whole time. I had no idea. And, uh, and I'm surprised was, you didn't say something when I was like, "Oh, um, it's got to be Emmett's," and I handed it to him. Yeah, well, well, it's actually because I think I have more water than I need for tomorrow, and so that's the, that's the only reason I didn't say anything. Oh. And I also wanted to take the opportunity to, to engage you on it like this. That's a, and so I was like, that's now's, now's not the right time. <laughs> I was, uh, you are drinking my tears. So. Drink, drink the tears of ultraliners. Yeah, abs- every day, <laughs> every day. But you had to carry them too, so. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> oh, you just... Don't look in the corners of your tent tonight. <laughs> that is all I'm going to say. The sun is literally setting right now. It's incredible. I'm going to have to turn around so you can see. Yeah. <laughs>